Hey there, name's Stacy from a little place called Melbourne, Australia. Here today to talk to you about heat transfer. We know a little something about it. We've had a lot of fires in Australia, unfortunately. But we know a thing or two about three things I'm gonna to talk to you about. Conduction, conviction, and radiation. Listen up as we go on this journey. If you pay close attention, there'll be a quiz afterwards. You can grab a mate, play along, or you can just quiz yourself, but you're gonna to wanna to pay attention. Welcome over to the board. This is where I'm gonna to explain to you the three types of heat transfer. All right, here we go. Conduction is first. This is all transfer by touch. It's got to make direct contact. Think about the hood of a car in the summer. Um, when you touch it and it's super hot, all right, steaming. What about a heating pad? Okay, we've got one here. Uh, you plug this in, you touch, make direct contact on your back. This is to heat it up. Think about uh, smalls over a fire. You're doing this making direct contact with the flame there to uh, heat your stuff up. Uh, bare feet on pavement, there's another one. Yes, direct heat uh, in the summertime, super hot. Maybe a coffee mug. The actual mug gets hot when there's hot stuff in it because it's making direct contact with the liquid. A hot ball from the microwave, when you pull it out, the actual ball is hot. Um, even body heat can count as direct uh, contact, so this is conduction. And uh, what if you grab a metal spoon after it's been in contact with something hot? That's conduction, anything with direct contact. Let's move on now to convection. This is anything uh, transferring gases or fluids, all right? This could be boiling water inside the pot, all right? This is convection currents. Remember, we learned about these inside the mantle, all right? Think of a hot cup of tea. This is not actually the, the mug. This is the stuff inside of it, and it's boiling. Think about that. Ice melting is another example. This could be meat thawing also because as the meat thaws, the heat is leaving, all right? Hot air has always got to rise. And uh, that's another example of that. What about a hot air balloon? The way these work with the uh, hot air rising in them, all right? Ocean currents also working like that. Um, air conditioning in the house. Thunderstorms are another example of convection currents because hot air is always rising and, um, and it's swirling around in the atmosphere. Convection ovens are another example. Remember, convection is always going to be transfer of gases and fluids. Radiation is our last one. This is transfer through waves, right? You've got the sun. You've got a um, burner like on the stove. You can also have radiation transfer through TVs, TV, uh, fire, okay, anything you'd warm your hands with. Um, X-rays, microwaves, obviously, lasers, often used in surgery. Cell phones send out radiation waves and black lights, all right? We're going to quiz on some of these with some examples and talk about them. You can grab a mate if you like, and you can quiz with your mate, or you can make uh, just quiz with yourself. All right, but in just a second, we're gonna quiz. Press pause if you wanna do that. Are you ready? All right, quizzes. You've either grabbed your mate or you're doing it all alone, which I admire. Let's start with the questions. Now you have three answer choices. And they are conduction, as which you know is direct contact with heat, because you just learned it at the board. Um, or it is, oops, not. Or it is convection, which is current traveling through fluids and gases. Or it is radiation, which is waves. All right, ready? The first one is. Boiling water. Go ahead and guess. If you said convection, you're right. Next one is a leather seat in a hot car. 
If you said conduction, you are correct. How about sun warming rocks? Radiation. How about the pot on a burner? The pot is getting hot. You're right, it's conduction. How about warming hands by the fire? Also, radiation. How about if you get a heated blanket and you put it on you? Direct contact, conduction. Okay, how about you laying out in the sun to get a tan? Radiation it is. Okay, let's think about this. In a house fire, you're told to get onto the ground and get low because the heat rises. Why are you told to drop to the ground? If you said conviction, you correct. I oh, know we need more music. How about this one? Currents in the mantle move magma, therefore they're moving tectonic plates. Stacy says, convection. How about this? Plates out of the microwave are hot. That's from radiation because the microwave gives radioactive waves. Very dangerous. How about a metal spoon? I'm reading this backwards. It's um, near a hot stove and it gets heated up because it's directly contacting it. You're right, it's conduction. Um, what about the air currents? Yes. Rise in the troposphere when they're warm. I learned about that the other day. That's conviction. A, a laser is used in surgery to remove something like bad tissue. Radiation, lasers. What about a hot air balloon? Conviction, you're so smart. Last but not least, Clothes in the dryer. Conviction. There you have it. How many points did you get? It was a total of 15. I'd say if you got 10 out of 15, you're doing really well. And uh, if you got less than that, you might need to go back and watch what I said over there at my board. And uh, learn a little bit more about the heat transfer. I thought while we were at it, some of you would like to know some Australian slang words, so I'm going to teach them to you. A lot of people are fascinated with the Aussie language. So, of course, you know the standards, you know, good day, mate, and things like that. But there's some more you might want to, want to know. Basically, it's a very lazy language. Uh, we like to shorten a lot of words. We don't ever say the R's on the end of words, like a river. Um, uh, we don't like say the G on the end of words either. You know, we just leave off the G's the end of words. Um, we switch up a lot of our syllables, uh, um, I mean our uh, vowel sounds, um, but Sheila is another name for a woman. Um, we also like to say Maccas for McDonald's, so we say we're going to Maccas. Um, um, we say uh, that's a real bugger if we don't like something, it's a bugger. Um, if we're exhausted, we say, we say um, I'm so buggered. Like buggered, it's uh, very exhausted. Um, Brecky is short for breakfast. Um, Devo is devastated, so he's shortened a lot of words. Um, we say lappy, that's my laptop, lappy. Um, tinny is a small boat. If you live way out in the middle of nowhere, which a lot of people do out in the bush, you say you live out in the whoop whoop. 
So uh, say, uh, how far do I got to drive you? And you could say, well, it's going to be a long way as I live out in the whoop whoop. Okay. Um, you can have uh, coppers. Okay. You know what those are. The cops. Um, ripper is fantastic. So we're going we're gonna to have a ripper of time. Uh, you know, uh, um, that's about covers it. We've got a lot of slang words. You should look some of them up. Basically, it's a lazy language. Uh, we shorten a lot of things and it's a ton of fun. Australians are always happy and you should come visit next time you get a chance. Have a great day.